Police! Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. Milipnos. Can you spell that, please? M L E P Clay. Did you say clay? Yes, the clay is silent. All right, got it. Have you seen this man before? He was shot last night. Oh, thank you. No, sir, no, that's sir. ours. We need that. We. And yeah, he kept it. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new commanding officer, Captain Seth Dozerman. My motto is simple. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Could probably just say it once. Are you making fun of my stutter? Oh, uh... Tricked you. I don't have a stutter. Boom. I've already established my authority through my amazing sense of humor. Well done, sir. Welcome to the 9-9. I'm Sergeant Terry Jeffords. And I'm not interested. I have no use for people. I find people weird and confusing. I live my life by numbers. You see this watch? It tells me how many calories I burn at any time. Question, how many calories do you think I burned walking from there to there? You, female, closest to me. Oh, uh, three? Three? Ah! <laughs> Try 0 0.8, numbnuts. I made promises to my superiors that I most certainly cannot keep. That's why I need you idiots to work twice as hard. No, 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 strike that four times as hard. No, 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 strike that. I need you morons to work eight times harder than you've ever worked in your entire life. I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, I'm having a heart attack. Get back to work. Get a doctor! Ah, pepper relish on your arancini. Very playful. Cut through the richness, add a little levity. I love that. You really know your food. You could say it's the only thing I'm allowed to talk about. I'm Charles. I work with Captain Holt. I'm Vivian Ludley. I work with Kevin. No. The Vivian Ludley. Author of Stone Fruits and Stone Stones, Food of the Paleolithic Era. I'm a huge fan. It's got the best recipes for making salads out of moss. The trick is, you have to lean into the dirt taste. Uh -huh. My last meal on Earth. That's a great question. I'd go classic French. Ortolan, tiny songbird, eaten in a single bite, bones and all, an open defiance of God. <laughs> it's illegal to consume Ortolan, but I actually got academic dispensation to eat one once. Oh, the beak, very crunchy. That is literally the sexiest thing anyone has ever said. How were you single? You're not seeing anyone? No. There is nobody in my life. Sort of a sad thing to wink about, I realize now. <laughs> well, you know, it's good enough for Diane Keaton. It's good enough for me. I love her. I mean, she's no Jane Seymour. Where is Jane Seymour now, anyway? She yeah. makes jewelry, and it's beautiful. I just bought two brooches for the lesbians across the street. Mom, I keep telling you, if you don't rein it in a little bit, you're gonna scare them off. Well, that's what you said about Carla, and I ignored it, and now I have a friend with one arm. I stand corrected. Oh, well, must be your birthday surprise. You got me the 86 Mets? Be warned, a lot of them turned out to be drug addicts, so this could be a bummer. You ready? Hey, buddy. Happy birthday. Dad? What are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, well, I am surprised that you know it's my birthday. Actually, Jake, your father and I are uh, seeing each other again. Oh! Wow, that's, that's so interesting. Oh! What's up, guys? Look, I'm sorry, I'm a little busy right now. I got some female companions over, you know. Oh, really? What are they, like some nerdy sci-fi fans, or? <laughs> Good lord. I don't know what I'm looking at. I told you, man. He pulls. He pulls. Stop saying pulls. Mr. Parlov, we have to talk to you. No, we're not accusing you of anything. We just want to ask a few questions. You know, we're probably wrong. We should just go. Serge, no. God, you're strong. Mr. Parlov, did you send yourself those death threats for publicity? Are you kidding me? I have no need for publicity. The handwriting and the death threats matches perfectly with the inscription you wrote to Terry. Yeah, tell you the truth, I didn't actually write this inscription myself. What? what? Come on, you guys, grow up. You think I have time to answer each letter I get from every sad little fat kid that writes me? Come on, that's why I've got assistance, precisely for that sort of crap. But you said you remembered me. Because you were the cop assigned to my case. Look, I didn't want to piss you off. The man you're looking for, he's my ex-assistant. His name is Edmund Grail. The guy hates me. 
I slept with his wife, so naturally I had to fire him. Yeah, it's a cool story. After that, I got sort of involved with his sister. It was kind Please of Please stop just... talking. Fine. I have a little bit of uh, research to attend to myself, if you understand what I'm talking about. Enjoy having sex with three gorgeous women in cosplay. Well, that went terribly. I am so sorry. Do you need a moment alone, or you want to talk about it? Yep. Yep, that works too. Knock, knock. Man, I... Go, 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 go! Too many go! I know, I thought it would be funny, but it's just really scary. One of them watched me bathe. Yeah, we should definitely turn them around. Yeah. Oh no, they have their names written on the back. Hmm. I'm Meredith. Will you be my mother? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, okay, look, the dolls are gross, but I think once we bury them, this place could be kind of romantic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what would be even more romantic is hanging out fully clothed with two other people who have fallen out of love. What did you do? <sighs> All right, don't be mad. I invited Teddy up to surprise Amy, but it turns out she wants to break up with him. And now I promised her that I would run interference. I feel like I let you and all of our demon children down. Well, it's okay. You're just trying to do something really nice for a friend, and it blew up in your face. Rather spectacularly. Everything I do is spectacular. It's a curse. <laughs> Thank you for being understanding. Yeah, well, for the record, very cool girlfriend. The coolest. Hey, and Teddy doesn't get here for another 30 minutes. Till then? Let's make out. Great plan. <laughs> uh. <sighs> in the closet where they can't watch us? Yep, smart. <laughs> ah, puppets! Oh, there's so many puppets in there. After that, the judge just threw it out on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that judge has a deep voice, right? I'm gonna go uh, check out the food. Hey, bet you five bucks you can't guess three of the hors d'oeuvres they're serving. I'll take that action. Chicken satay, tuna tartare, shot glasses of gazpacho. Satay, tartare, no spotch. Where's the spotch, Hoitzman? Yes! Spotch! No! Well played. Unless you want to go double or nothing. I'm listening. Oh, nothing but glass! <sighs> I'll bet you can't guess how tall the Sarge is. In egg rolls. 24, exactly 25 egg rolls tall. Celebration egg roll! Hey, man, that was on the floor. You're on the floor. 60 bucks since you can't remove one glass without knocking the whole thing over. You didn't say I couldn't grab the top one. Yes. 100 bucks says I can jump from the roof and survive. Oh, I don't think you <laughs> Just messing with you, Peralta. I gotta hit the head. Oh, then we'll bet on who can shove more shrimp in his mouth. You're on. I got a big mouth, though. You're in trouble. I thought you were leaving. Were you just talking to Hoitzman? Talking, bonding, betting. Ooh, I should bet him that I can pee for longer than he can. Huh. The trick is to pinch it. I'll be right back. Oh, gotta fill up the tank. Ah, hello, Jeffrey. Hello! And that's cocaine. This night is making me incredibly anxious. Oh, hey, stay close. Someone messed with the champagne tower. You're all I've got. Jake is stupid, but he's smart. I think his plan is actually working. Oh, God. Hey, so, no big deal, but I arrested your boss and I never should have come here. Well, I read that wrong. Oh, this is insane. This is so insane. I wasn't doing anything. He was snorting cocaine in the bathroom. Okay, for the last time, that is not what happened. And that's cocaine. Are you sure? <laughs> Five dollars says you're wrong. Let me get in there and take a good look and smell. No, don't. Okay, it was cocaine. Turns out I was accidentally doing some cocaine. Not on accident. You put it in your nose on purpose. I don't even think I have a nose, Peralta. I certainly cannot feel it. The defense rests! Oh, shh, keep your voices down. What is going on here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sophia's cop boyfriend is arresting me in front of my friends and colleagues. Hey, everyone. I'm Jake. So who here saw 12 Years a Slave? This picture 